The Penta 7500 is a metal graphic belt grinder. It is the only metal graphic belt grinder that has a square grinding attachment. This allows for fast, coarse grinding and keeps the specimen square and planar. This is especially important when the specimen is subsequently prepared on a single sample machine. In addition to the planar grinding fixture, the Penta 7500 features a rinse station and has been designed for ease of use and quick belt changes. The square grinding attachment is attached to the Penta 7500 to hold the mounted specimen square to the grinding belt. It is spring-loaded so that additional force can be applied to grinding the mount. Note, without the squaring fixture, it is nearly impossible to keep the mount square in both the X and Y direction. This has been the limitation of belt grinders in the past. Loading the mounted specimen in the fixture is very easy. Pull back on the spring and insert the mount into the holder. While holding the mount in place, swing the holder into position and then tighten the holding pin. Start the belt grinder and water flow. Position the sample on the belt and apply the force through the loading shaft. Although the tracking of the sample on the belt can be moved, it would be better to hold it in place for each grind for better control. To check the grinding process, swing the holder up and remove the mount for inspection. The grinding attachment can be easily removed for greater access to the grinding belt. To reinstall, attach the left swing arm and reload the mounted specimen. The holder can be easily adapted for different mount sizes by replacing the ring on the holder with the correct size ring. Simply loosen the set screws to remove the existing ring and insert the alternative ring and tighten the set screws. Water flow to both the belt and the sink can be controlled from the front panel. The Penta 7500 has been built for safety with watertight on-off switches and an emergency stop button. Changing the Penta 7500 abrasive belt is very simple. Open the side panel and pull on the belt release lever. Remove the old belt and replace the new belt. Check to see if the belt spins freely. It is also recommended that the belt tracking be adjusted before closing the side panel. The belt tracking can be adjusted with a knob located on the front right by the belt so that it tracks in the correct position. Slowly adjust the knob so that the belt tracks in the middle of the wear plate. 